All right, so this is going to be a bit of a jump through because I missed a lot of stuff. Uh, basically, we are making a 1KD engine from this N70 go in LN106. Um, I didn't film the beginning of this because we just kind of jumped straight into it. But heaps of people have uh, messaged me and said I should have made a YouTube video of this and it would have been cool if it was in a series. And I was like, well, that would have been smart. So I'm going to start now anyways. Basically, this car, it's a customer's car. Um, he got this for a really good deal, this wrecked uh, N70 with a 1KD. And he already had the LN and he decided that the LN had had enough. Um, it did have like a head gasket issue and had the 3L motor in it, um, which in my opinion, rip. But um, yeah, he was a bit sick of it and wanted to do something cool. So here we are, we have a 1KD ready to go in. Um, I'll probably show some clips of us getting that out. Um, instead of just tearing it out of the N70, we actually got it running on minimal wiring as possible, just like the necessary components and stuff. Um, made sure we got past the security, all that jazz, uh, and then basically deleted heaps of wires. So, ugh, all this crap, hit deleted. Don't need that. Uh, and we got it running real nice. So we just basically need this loom um, and which has some main power feeds and stuff. Um, we have another loom which is actually in the car now. I'll show you. Shirtfire is just putting some holes in the firewall for the, to like, do the grommets, like the factory N70. So there's one there, one over there. So he's just drilling them in now. Uh, yesterday, oh, I should say on Friday, I pulled the dash out and started wiring all the 1KD electricals in. So they run up behind the dash. Pretty neat. Uh, ECU's there. And then we've got the engine harness coming in and then it's got to plug into the top of ECU there. And then we've got some other things like the cluster plugs in there and we've got some earths we've got an earth um, there's like a big fuse board in here that needs heaps of plugging there's um that's a junction here that goes through another harness through the firewall and then they all plug in there as well uh, there's another earth here and then we also have um, our obd here and ignition stuff here so there's plenty on um, and we're getting through it so this is all 3L stuff that we've taken off I think we're going to use we're actually going to retain the um, radiator from the 3L because the N71 is way too big so we're, it's actually going to be a bit of a mix and match what we use and what we don't use uh, we're just kind of taking the best out of the two. We just plonked the 3L motor in the N70 just for space. So it's just sitting there, but um, yeah. I've got to do a timing belt and water pump and uh, some other bits and bobs on the 1KD before she goes in here. Um, and then I'll show you the next step. finished timing belt water pump new auxiliary belt hydraulic tensioner all that stuff we're gonna get the engine in the car now i think it's probably the next thing 
Um, we've got the holes in the firewall. Nicely done. And down there as well for our wiring looms and engine mounts are in. We've already tested them, had the engine in a couple times. So hopefully this is actually going in for the final time now, I believe. Pull it off here and get it in. Last one. One KZ, one KD, one something. <laughs> Hell yeah. She's bolted in. Now we just gotta tidy everything up, throw some wires at it, nip up the engine mounts, um, and then we'll get the gearbox back on. But we have had that dummy fit up, so we should be okay there. We'll slap the gearbox on now, but might just give it, give all this a bit of a grease up and stuff. It's a little bit dry. Plenty of clutch dust everywhere. Clutch felt okay though when I drove it in the in the wrecked car, so I don't think we need to go replacing clutches or anything. But we'll just give this a nice grease up, and then we should be good to go. box is smacked against the engine it's getting some bolts in finger tight um, and then is that funny is it <laughs> so immature so finger tight <laughs> I don't think anyone's ever laughed at that ever um, and then we're gonna get that clutch um, slave cylinder in before we go crazy and make sure the clutch works otherwise there's no point doing all these bolts up and then I'm probably going to get the starter in, make sure that fits in as well, because we have custom engine mounts. So you never know. A couple of things we've got to make sure we don't learn the hard way. Um, but yeah, it's looking good. Starter motor's in. Just, just got him in there. There's just enough space. Still got to put that earth on. And I just tested the clutch with lever bar, and that seems to be working properly too. So it saves us bleeding it all up and all that. Um, we don't have the transfer on at the moment because that's going to be the next thing we have to try and figure out because um, on these boxes, uh, the R151, the transfer comes out on the left side, but being an LN, the diff's on the right, so we're going to have to suss something out there. You can get adapter plates to run the geared um, transfers, but we're trying to get our hands on one, which is seem to be a little bit difficult, but um, we do have options. So we just got to keep going at the moment and something will pop up, hopefully. Yes. There she is. Pretty much swapped. Oh, I'm gonna put that earth on, don't forget. Let's get right here, I think. Put the sleeve on as well. No, it's a big boy. Something like that. Sweet. Might have to do something with this um, oil pan in the future, but 
not too fussed about it at the moment. Get this thing running first before we go crazy with the details. So I think we're up to getting some wires together now, running some of the big loom boxes and fuse boxes. Got to do some mounting. Got some injector ECUs. That we got um, the foot pedal to mount because this is electronic now, not cable. Um, yep, some of these things. Um, so yeah, we're gonna start getting that stuff in the engine bay. Is it coming down? Good over here. You're all right. Disc gonna touch it, and you're good. Alrighty. So we've dropped the tank because these lines are much too small um, for what we're dealing with the N70 stuff so they're substantially bigger on the N70 tank um, so we're gonna have to see what we can do to modify to get what we need in over here um, for this it also it I don't know it's gonna pull it pull that out and I'll pull the N71 out we'll put them together and see what we come up with I reckon it's probably the only option at this point um, but yeah, we might have to do a bit of modification, even if we use the big one as the return and then just got the small one out of there and put a much larger one in for the feed. Um, that might be an option, but we'll see. I'm sure we'll come up with it something. I'll have to give them a bit of a wash. We're getting there. Let's go. <laughs> That's exactly right. Let's go. All right, another day, another dollar. We uh, got the fuel tanks out yesterday, RV. So now we're gonna pop the top off that one and this guy, and see what we're gonna do. Because basically, we need to um, upgrade the size of the lines here because they're much different to what we had on the N70. So. We'll pop that guy open and see what we got. All right, Brendo's just getting this tank apart. Yesterday he was a bit busy as well. He's got the intercooler on. Um, we've got some electricals hooked up. This is like one of the fuse boards and it runs over the back into that grommet. The engine loom runs down into there, which is pretty neat. And we actually had enough length so that we can get to the ECU, which was a huge bonus because I was a bit worried about that. Um, because we're just trying to lay this thing out, just kind of like factory. So hopefully I actually get a bunch of all those wires sorted out today. Some of the earths connected and hopefully all the earths connected. And um, yeah, we're gonna get some fuel system stuff going in a sec. Power steering system is connected. Um, so. Funnily enough, all the factory stuff, we just mix and match um, the LN and the N70 stuff together and it all just bolted up. <clears throat> we um, clocked the um, fuel filter slash feed and whatnot all the way like from the pump and just go, we just clocked this and just go straight in. We've just got to get some lines sorted in the back here. That guy and that guy. And then we've got our whole fuel system sorted. Um, hopefully we get this thing running today, I reckon. Bit of a ask, but we might do. Everything fits really nice though. 
we were really worried about the steering shaft here, but it clears. It just looks like it's meant to be. Oh, that's another thing I'm gonna do. I do weld that that neck on. Where is it? There's a somewhere. Somewhere in all the parts we've got a aluminium thermostat neck that I've got to weld as well because it needs to be clocked so it doesn't hit the torsion bar mount or the torque rod mount or whatever it is. So I've just got to cut and weld re-weld that. There it is. So this guy sits on the block, goes to the thermostat and it just kinks off to the right. So I need to kink it to the straight. So I'll probably have to chop it and re-weld it, but that's not too much of a big deal. Um, and then we can get all this stuff back together. Uh, and yeah, like I said, connect up all these wires. Hopefully get this thing cranking today. Fucking raw power. Yeah, nah, so good. <laughs> Go on, give it, give it the berries. I'm fucking <laughs> Yeah, it looks on there. Okay, good shit. Alrighty, we got our lines on. New fuel lines, top of the tank. We did what we had to do. Cleaned out the little gauze in there. Now we're going back in. Oh, hang on. Let's get out of there. All right. Yeah. Hang on, I'm gonna push this over. A little bit more. Yep. Uh, I think we're hitting something on your side. There she goes. You're on the subframe. Yep. Yeah. So we're gonna get these and then run them up over, nice and neat up, up over there. Cause we need to go on the left side for this engine. Whereas the 3L, uh, the fuel lines run on that side. So we're gonna do a switcheroo and I think this is gonna be the safest spot over here, right over that. Two bolts in it. Sweet. Okay. Two lines. I can run them up over that, along there, and then <laughs> what are you talking about? And then back up there. We're killing it over here. So, um, we have our fuse box in and mounted. Um, the fuel is all connected up and routed. Um, heater hose is just sitting here at the moment because I've got to get in and um, put the cover on, the, on this. So that'll be neater than that in a sec. Um, but everything's actually connected. We haven't got the radiator in yet because uh, we're just going to get it running first in case we need access. And then we got to mount the power steering reservoir uh, but all the power steering lines are connected. Um, on the other side, we've got the airbox pl plugged in because it's got a MAF sensor. So we need that for it to, just to run. Um, so we'll kick that into the airbox. Sorry, into the air intake pipe. Uh, just for we got we're gonna have to make a custom box because this is not gonna the stock one won't fit in there. Um, what else we got? Turbos plumbed into the intercooler. I got some wires over here that we got to connect up, uh, and then I've got to get in here now and start mucking around with all of these wires. After that, we've done all our fuel system, so we should be able to kick it in the guts this afternoon. I'm hoping. So these guys, oh, you're gonna. Yeah, we can just run it like that. Um, 
every day so our dash can get plugged in. So yeah, I'm going to start connecting into this junction box here. All these plugs. Um, and then we can put our dash in. He can go here for now. And we've got to connect our ECU up. Those plugs down there. But everything's sort of where it wants to be at the moment, which is pretty cool. Angel's not even bolted down. So, what we got going on? Oh, actually, we might, while we got some power, we might test these um, other things. Like the, should we, yeah, we might as well. Do you want to flick the ignition on and we'll check like headlights and all that crap? Uh, headlights, put the wiring harness out for that. Oh, you took the wiring harness out, yeah. right. Up. Okay, so we're going to put that in. Um, but we might as well put that fuse box power on. See if it does anything weird. Oh yeah, just, actually I could probably just do it now. Hang on, let me do this first. Yeah, he's right. You do? Yeah. How good's that? What more could you want? What else do you have? Do you have a horn? Oh, she's ready to drive. <laughs> uh, you don't have any lights or anything, do you? No blinkers. Okay. Fuck, so it's pretty much ready to run. We just go try and tidy up this schmozzle. And now that we know it runs, we can get the radiator in, get all those hoses in, power steering in.
Okay. What the idea is now, we've got two different shafts and we need... Brandon thinks it's funny because I'm holding a tripod. No. <laughs> What's so funny then? Two different shafts. Oh, shafts. Okay, that's fair enough. What I'm going to try and do is, I'm going to see if I can use the uni off the, I'm trying to remember what shaft is what now. <laughs> Anyways, one of these fits onto the gearbox and the other side doesn't go onto the diff and we need them to both fit. So I'm going to switch that guy there and that guy there and we should have this long single piece fit into here because it's the right length as well. So that's the idea. This side shouldn't be any different, but this side is different. Um, that's the idea. So let's give it a red hot. Okay, we um, ended up mix and matching the N70 um, uni joint and coupler with the LN style. Um, we've got a single piece here and now it's got the right ends, hopefully, <laughs> on each side. Um, we basically used the uni joint um, from N70 and the N50 and we just kind of mixed and matched the two sets um, with the buckets and the shims and um, the depths and all that and we've got a really nice outcome actually it feels really good no play a tiny little bit of friction it's perfect so we're going to offer it up now and see if it works so we ended up just giving the engine a bit of a shimmy forward because it's not really sitting in the right spot and the gearbox actually needs to go up a lot more as well because we haven't got the frame in, subframe in, um, but the shaft is in. How good, look at that. So exciting. So now tomorrow morning, we're gonna do some subframe work, um, bolt this down uh, and then the gearbox will be mounted which is great. And then we're gonna tighten up engine mounts. And then we got a lot of wiring to clean up. So happy days. There's only one less thing left to do on a day like today. Oh, oh. Look how happy he is. <laughs> Good shit. Here we are again. Hopefully you get this thing uh, driving today. We've just got to tick some things off the list. Um, important things like mounting the gearbox. So we've got to put the mount back on and then we've got some plates to be made. They go here and here and then we'll make a little uh, subframe to go across the two and the little mount that goes from this to the pipe. But luckily, with the forerunner that we had been doing recently, it's got the same or similar chassis stuff. So we've actually got some of the stuff that we need, like the mount that we made for that, that goes onto the pipe and two plates, the left and the right. So we just print them off now and we start off quickly.
looks pretty good. Mmm. Very nice. Are you ready? Yeah, I suppose. Let me know when you're ready. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to tuck this side and then you can give it some rotation and get center. Alright. Let you take it from here. Not bad. Beauty. Look at that. So now we're just going to have a quick check over everything and then give them a full weld, give it some paint. And then um, I'm over here modifying the dump pipe because the old flange hit the chassis rail and stuff. So we're going to try and use as much of the exhaust as possible just over here try and use as much as this exhaust over here as possible because it's already pretty much in place runs over here and then it crosses over and it will bounce over here so this guy go down over the subframe um, and yeah, we're still waiting on getting an adapter plate for this, so that will go over here eventually, but not, not at the moment. So don't stress about that not working. It's just going to be Wi-Fi at the moment, alright guys? Thursday morning. Um, so yesterday afternoon we got some shit done. Um, so I modified the uh, thermostat housing sort of like little thing. Um, I chopped this down and rotated it in because 
uh, it was like rotated out a bit and it was interfering with the um, torque rod on the diff. So now that clears. Well, I haven't actually retested it since I've welded it, but um, pretty sure that fits. Uh, we've got the pedal. I made this pedal mount yesterday afternoon. So basically just that is like a, an adapter plate. So it goes from the N70 to the N50. Uh, and then that bolts like that. And then that bolts into the floor or something like that. Uh, we've got the dump that we like, quickly modified as well yesterday. Um, so he can go on and then that just adapts the um, 1KD to the standard um, exhaust setup for the N50. So all that can go on today. Um, and then we've got some um, things that we want to fix like this vacuum line that we just quickly threw on so that we could get this thing running. So that's going to get rerouted neatly and properly. Um, we've got a couple of other things to do. We've got to mount the power steering reservoir. We've got to make a battery tray and put the battery in. Um, and a couple of bits and bobs. We do have to do the airbox still, but we're going to do that later when we get it off the hoist. So I can do some fab and stuff on that. We can get this hoist back so we can do other jobs. Uh, yesterday afternoon, um, I was working on doing the, oh, the ignition system. So. This is the N70 uh, wiring loom ignition uh, barrel switch, and we're just converting it over to the uh, N50 guy. So I'm just gonna tap into here, and then that can go straight back in to ignition barrel, and then that will do all of the usual bits and bobs. test now that I have connected or put all the dash in and everything make sure that I didn't do anything wrong unplug something that I shouldn't have or whatever so um, let's have a look at the dash here so that's accessories we're good looks like we've got accessories and then that's ignition got ignition epic and then it won't start because the battery's just got some alligator clamps on it but I might just bang it and see if we get any engine noise perfect how good seems to be working check it out guys look how far she's come looks like it's meant to be in there so the only thing I've got to do over here is an air box uh, and then it's going to go into the fender and then later on he wants to run twin snorkels um, but we're just going to leave it like that so we can get it off the hoist uh, but yeah look at that she's in super factory everything fits really good we made a little bracket for the power steering reservoir up here and we made a couple brackets over there but that's pretty much it the battery's real nice and snug here we made a battery tray for it and this is like the factory battery mount which also goes right on so i mean it was all meant to be it's really good um i was just finishing up ecu stuff in here i'll show you that quickly so i was just mounting the ecu and um tidying up some wiring and then the the glove box can go back in so that'll make tidy all that up um, we just got the dash sitting there at the moment so I can drive and see what's happening. Uh, but yeah, everything else is back together. Yeah, you know, for a bit of a fire up here, get some power steering fluid going. We've bled the clutch, we've bled the brakes. Everything seems to be working. What's that noise? The truck outside. Oh, we got a truck outside. <laughs> oh, we got him on the radio. <laughs> it's all happening. It's all happening. All right. Do you have the fuel system out or something? Air again. again.
Yeah, it starts pissing out there every now and then. It's just because it's overpressured. Should start now. Did it feel empty? Yeah. Oh, listen to her. That's quite as. Oh, she's already drank the power steering fluid. We got something in there. We don't have any coolant in there at the moment, so we can't run it for too long. Definitely gonna want a funnel for that. Oh, look at him, he thinks he's got the skills. Oh, he's pretty good. That's right. Look at that, I doubted him. But he did not spill a drop. Good shit. All right, fire it back up. She sucked it back down again. It's odd hearing this noise from this old car. Awesome. I forget the bonnet. Huh? The bonnet's on the food. Okay, so we're just running some uh, water through it. We finally got that lower coolant hose on. So we're just getting it up up to temperature now, um, bleeding the coolant system. And then I'm gonna throw the bonnet down and go for a first proper drive on the road. So pretty exciting. We um, cut a hole in the bonnet so that the intercooler actually works. And um, we've taken the bonnet scoop off the N70 um, and we'll get that on tonight and silicon it on properly and stuff, but we're not gonna put it on for the test drive. There's no point in making it fly off on the test drive. So we're just gonna get him up to temperature now, bleed up cooling system and hit the road. All right, sweet. Ha <laughs> ha. 